Hi, I'm Don Tollison and welcome back to Tolly's Awesome Friends. Today we are in one of the really bright, cheery, positive lunch rooms anywhere in the Philadelphia region. Check out this great artwork. All the young people here at the St. Helena School, part of the St. Helena Parish in Bluebell, are always doing remarkable things. And today we're here because they have a Martin Luther King weekend basketball tournament. But in this school, sports and everything else are used as teaching tools for giving back to the community. We'll be back in this great room at the end of our show to induct someone very special into Tolly's Awesome Friends Hall of Fame. But right now, let's talk to a father at this school, a priest father who does a remarkable job of putting things in perspective for these awesome young children. Father, we talk about educating the whole child. And obviously here at St. Helena, becoming more and more familiar with it academics, athletics and other extracurriculars, spiritual teachings, you really work hard to make this a successful whole child education. Yes. Yeah. And another great thing we do is outreach and social services. Yeah. Yeah. So the kids are always saying what they receive, they give to others. So they know all the importance of what it means to be St. Helena's child. Like you said, whether it's learning the best that they can, but what they learn they have to share with others. So whether it's tutoring others, playing through academics, sharing what they have, and most especially through social giving to others, they do whatever way they can with the kids, all and different ways. I'm sorry, but the, the, the social giving kind of teamwork is such a wonderful bridge from, you know, sports inherently has right. teamwork. But yeah. when you expand that to the need in a community, that's when teamwork becomes much more important. Yes, it does. And the great thing here is we usually do things as grades. So it'll be different grades will work together on a project. Like fourth and fifth grade will work together when we're doing food. So they might get the canned goods. Somebody will be responsible for getting the um, perishable goods and somebody for getting the bread. And then when we do it, we bring everything together like one big basket. So they see that our family is trying to put other families together and help them out any way that they can. And even with this basketball tournament, we're collecting sneakers. And but we asked the other teams involved to participate and that's St. Helen is teaching others, let's outreach, let's help others. And um, the shoes will be going to um, Pal in the city and then some will be going down to south to Georgia and then the rest will be going over to Africa. Which is to all the students in Africa. But at St. Helen's if the students learn whatever graces and gifts God gives you, and it doesn't matter if it's academics, sports or outreach, give what you have to others because that's the gifts and talents God gave you. And here, they're surrounded by it all the time. And it doesn't matter, it could be teachers, parents, or students are always helping out. And that's the big thing here at St. Helen is, is our motto is we're one big family. And a family looks after and takes care of one another. And one family though always has to help out another family. And that's what we try and stress to the kids here. So that's why everything we do, all the families come together. All the parents, all the kids, they just know it's one family, loving, taking care, teamwork. We'll call it family work is how we do it. And they learn as young kids on, help one another out, whether it's through your prayer partner, a classmate, or a grade partner. They always just know that family helps one another out. So we're always doing it all the time. And the most thing that we're very good with, I'm very proud of this, if someone in our parish gets very sick, all we have to do is make one phone call and we'll have 30 families saying, what do you need? Do you need meals? Do they need the kids to be washed? Do we have to take them to the doctors, take them anywhere? And the whole school comes together as one family to take care of a family in need. And they learn that very early on. You're a North Catholic guy. Throwing through Falcon Baby. Absolutely. And I obviously am not a guy who grew up in the city of Philadelphia, grew up in mm -hmm. the city of San Francisco, but am a huge fan of, of the North Catholic tradition, still involved, as you yes. know, with the alumni. And in a city school, there's kind of an inherent exposure to the neighborhood. That's just yes. something that's a part of growing up in an urban setting as we both did. I'm so impressed by how children here in Bluebell and areas that surround Bluebell are very, even at a young, young age, uh, are very aware, as you just described, of how fortunate they really are. And the best way to react to that good fortune is to share it with others. Yes. Oh, you're, you're right. But one of the good things that's great here is now when we do a lot of the outreach is we take the kids with us so that they can see where 
they give, their goods or shoes or clothes, whatever it is, that they see who it's going to. And then they realize they are people in need, especially when it's other children. So when they see the sneakers dropped off to another family and the children are there, or when the food's dropped off and they see the families, that they know. And that's what touches their hearts, that they realize how blessed they are. And we remind them, I said, you're so lucky to have a school that has everything. I said, how many schools, I always tease them, are air conditioned, yeah. <laughs> right? Which you and I know, we would have to sweat, sweat yeah. it out, right? Absolutely. And they ask, ask the nun or the priest, can you like undo the tie yeah. here? It's so like, they wouldn't put a sweater on there and complain about it. But um, they're very fortunate here, but also because their parents, some of their parents were from the city and came here, and then they realized, keep them connected, the people in the city or other areas need help, and they instill that in their kids. And when they come here, it just flourishes and grows. And kids' hearts are always so good and giving and open. And so our kids, when we just ask for the help where they see the help where it needs to go to people, they're very open to helping out. You should be very proud. Oh, thanks. And the other reason I think it is, too, with kids today, with the information media, they see so much on the news. Yeah. And they see people in the city on, uh, on the news that are hurting and need help. And they'll say, Father, did you see the news last night? Did you see what happened? And I found it dead. Yeah. I'll go, yeah, we're going to help them. They'll say, yeah. And that's another big tool that like, the kids watch the news and information on the internet, and then they see where everything's going. But see, you guys help. do a great job of teaching them, using right. the news, which can be so tragic, as right. we both well know. You can use that as a teaching lesson yeah. for, again, increasing not only your gratitude for what you have, but to help those who are less fortunate. Father, thank yeah, you for letting us in the school. Well, thank you for thank you for everything you do. God All bless right. you. Coming up on Tolly's Awesome Friends, it's not just the children that Father is very proud of, it's also the parents who do an amazing job of volunteering on a regular basis, but especially at this weekend-long four-day basketball tournament.